Hi there. Glad you're watching. This is another episode of Encouraging Word. My name is Dave and I pastor in glorious Killarney, Manitoba. You know, in the old, old cowboy song, Home on the Range, there's a line that says, and seldom is heard a discouraging word. And in my experience, I have heard a lot of discouraging words, um, be it from the news or online or sadly from other people. And so when this whole COVID thing started, there was lots of fear being talked about. And I wanted to share some encouraging words from the Bible. And so this is my brief attempt to share an encouraging word from Scripture. So I'm glad you're watching. I encourage you to hit share. Someone you know needs to hear exactly what I'm talking about today. And really appreciate uh, you sharing it. And thank you for letting me know you're watching. Uh, this week we are reminding people uh, that we live in a spiritual world. Um, the world is not simply black and white, scientific, rational thought. But uh, there are things about our world that uh, we cannot explain, that go beyond science, that go beyond rational thought. And uh, that's why we believe in and pray for miracles. That's why we believe in and pray for divine insight from the Holy Spirit. He knows things that we don't know. And we need his help. And we certainly believe that and pray for that. So I'm glad you're watching today. When you have an understanding that there's another world, a, a spiritual world, uh, it allows you to see some situations differently. Um, for instance, in Matthew chapter 26, when Jesus was arrested in the Garden of Gethsemane, you may recall that one of his disciples pulled out a sword and tried to cut off I'm assuming somebody's head, but instead he got his ear. And uh, he tried to defend Jesus, which would make sense. Jesus said to him, Do you not think I can call on the Father and he will at once put at my disposal more than 12 legions of angels? Um, the disciple was seeing things from a purely black and white, rational, scientific um point of view. Uh, there's people coming to arrest Jesus. I'm going to defend him with my sword. That's what I have. Let's, let's defend Jesus. Jesus saw things from a spiritual perspective. And Jesus understood that the snap of a finger, he could call on 12 legions of angels. I'm told that's more than 10,000 angels if he had wanted to. Of course, in order for scripture to be fulfilled, he didn't do that. And Jesus was indeed arrested and eventually crucified. But God was in complete control of the situation. That's what we need to be reminded of. In 2 Kings chapter 6, Elisha, the prophet of God, is under siege by a foreign army. And when Elisha's servant looked out, uh, all he could see was scientifically black and white, rational thinking. We are surrounded. But when Elisha looked out. He saw things from a spiritual perspective. He understood that there was a spiritual world and he prayed a very simple prayer. Lord, open his eyes that he may see. And suddenly the servant was able to see that it wasn't them who were surrounded, but in fact, the foreign army was surrounded by thousands upon thousands of angels who were armed and ready for battle. Um, when we see things from a spiritual point of view, a God perspective, even horrible situations are turned upside down because God is in complete control. You know, what situation are you facing today? Is it a physical one, something that seems overwhelming and out of control? I want to remind you what Psalm 34 verse 7 says, The angel of the Lord camps around those who fear him, and he delivers them. Notice the word camps. You know, I sometimes drive by the, the park where everybody camps. And man, these campers today, I mean, they bring everything, including the kitchen sink. They have decks out there. It looks like they are never going to leave the campground. Um, sometimes this verse gives us the impression that maybe the angel of the Lord is just there for a temporary moment. But the Bible says he camps around you. He's there around you all the time 
looking out for you. And so no matter what you're facing today, my prayer for you is that God would open your eyes to see that you are not alone, that God is for you, not against you, that he has you covered, that um, God is in complete control of the situation you find yourself in today. And so I just want you to relax, learn to trust him. God's got you and uh, you are covered by uh, his protection and by his presence. So let me pray for you today and ask God's blessing on you. Father, thank you so much that you're in complete control. Sometimes the circumstances would indicate that we're, things are out of control. Sometimes circumstances would indicate that we're surrounded by the enemy. But Father, help us to see as Elisha's servant saw, as Jesus saw, that there's a world that uh, we can't see with our physical eyes, but you're in complete control. You surround those who love you and those who put their trust in you. And so Father, help us to know today that the angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and he delivers them. So I pray your blessing upon each one today. May your words speak to our hearts. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Trust you have a great day. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow, God willing, at one o'clock.